After joining the family in 2011, Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge's entrance into royal life was very different from that of her predecessors. Fairly absent from public events until she tied the knot with Prince William, Kate was then hurled into finding her place in the family. In recent years, the Duchess has used her role to support a number of charitable causes and organizations. Most of the Duchess' patronages are centered around providing children with the best possible start in life. Talking on Royally US podcast, managing editor of Majesty magazine, Joe Little, said, Kate as a team player, specifically the sporty, athletic Kate, has been evidenced in the last few days. She played tennis with Emma Raducanu in London, and has shown how good a tennis player she actually is. He added, had she not been royal, perhaps she would have gone on to be an accomplished athlete or a sportsperson of some sort. Joe went on to say, Kate has found her own niche within the royal family, and she focuses on things that mean a great deal to her. She feels that she can give something to the charities, rather than just cover lots of charities but not in a great way. Kate currently has 19 royal patronages, all of which relate to things close to the Duchess heart. The number of patronages is expected to increase in coming years, especially when Kate becomes Queen Consort. To compare, Queen Elizabeth II is patron to over 600 charities and organizations. Kate also has her own charity, which she runs alongside her husband, the Duke of Cambridge. The Royal Foundation runs projects that revolve around mainly conservation, the early years, mental health, and emergency responders. It was founded in 2009 by Prince William and Prince Harry, to allow the brothers to take forward their charitable ambitions. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the foundation in 2009. Prince William and Catherine have recently spoken out about their aim to increase diversity within the workforce of the foundation, stating that that D. 